Oh, so what's going on? Three to one. We're live. It's uh, Sam, Matt, and uh, various things in play. Uh, we've got a bug on website one on microservice architecture where, uh, although we've gone live, and I, it seems like the uh, the system is. We just got a screen share here. Like the, I think if we look at the, actually, will that come up as an event or not even? Uh, yeah. So the, it's going live on the system. This makes me think. That what's happened is that the the bot, which is the agile bot that's supposed to notify this, has gone to sleep permanently. But that shouldn't happen because I've got agile bot in this group. It's awake. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I got a message about uh, my having run out of Heroku Dino hours. But I, since agile bot is is there, that that should work anyway. Uh, <laughs> That's, I'll just have this in there, there uh, same uh, problem for me, uh, needs investigation. And me, uh, immediately after with WSO uh, Hangout. Okay, uh, but then so also now uh, Matt and I are talking about Redeemify. Okay, so we, yeah, we, if we go back to there, yeah. So I mean, th th this sort of shows us the bigger picture problem with, uh, like, like initially there was some Travis issue that was preventing the test suite from running, right? And, right. But that that got got resolved. Just out of interest, have you got the link to the Travis CI ticket that we had open? Um, that was like what I'm just sort of to store in my brain. And I can just do it by searching for your name in the. Right, there is an issue in the Travis, uh, Travis CI. Mm. Uh, any keywords you can give me there, or is your username on GitHub different from M Lindsay? Matt Lindsay. It's one word. Uh, M A T T Lindsay. I found it. Okay, here we go. So, and so, I, I, so as I was saying, it's. I think it's. You know, more so than the email, if you can get it in here, and if you can get the attention of someone like Banzai Man, then uh, you know that that's huge. So, so did it just sort of go away, or we were able to actually fix it? Put that line right there in before installed. Yeah. Um, okay. So this this was then added, right? And so then the build so then the build was able to run without that problem. So that's great that we've got um, that there. Ooh. Um, but so. In terms of this is Francis's pull request, was that merged before or after this? What, what, how how did that? I mean, if if that's broken, is now is now the um, is the is the master branch broken? Like, yeah, the, it, his the break that happened because of the CSS problems happened before the Travis problem. Okay, but so does that mean that the the cucumber was failing, but we still merged in that PR? Right. Right, that was the total mistake of ours. Right, right. We both looked at it, and neither one of us must have run the queue. Cucumber. And is that because? But but that was that was before Travis was set set up on the repo period. No, I think Travis has been set up longer. I but think maybe we, Travis wasn't running the queues, or what, what? Why did the? I mean, like presumably. Oh, I see. Why didn't it run? Um, I mean, why didn't we see a like at the point that you were thinking about? Yeah, oh, this is a nice next uh, there. Yeah, maybe, maybe just you didn't notice it, or um, yeah, something happened that we it didn't yeah, run. Okay, yeah, right. So I mean, that puts us in a situation where, like, for the project to move forward, I mean, we basically we're, we're broken on master, which is yeah, it's been bothering me too. Since. Yeah. So I mean, I guess, and have we got? So that's this build issue defined for this problem, right? And so this issue here, and right. so. Now, and so we come into this is actually a very interesting issue here in that um, this is sort of core to the um, the operation of you know distributed teams and uh, agile ventures and so on is so Francis is I think is he, is he a MOOC student? Do we know anything about? I don't know about him actually. He did really well on the CSS, but maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's having problems with the queue. 
Yeah, well, I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not saying any criticism. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm not making any criticism. I just wondered if we knew which angle he was coming in. I mean, the, the, basically what we have with Azure Ventures is everybody is coming in as volunteers, and he's, you know, yeah. uh, as you're saying, you've kind of asked him a couple of times, can he look into it? And he, he may have, with the best of intentions, every intention to look at it. Um, but, of course, that may end up being a while. And so we've got this balance between we also want to let him look into it because it may be that the process of looking into it for him is going to be a fantastic learning experience. Um, but it's also challenging for us in terms of, I mean, we, we arguably can't merge or we shouldn't merge this pull request here, like, like in terms of like priority like this. All right, then that holds up everything. Yeah, we, 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 we can't merge any other pull request until we've uh, okay. got master green again. Um, so that's, uh, you know, that, that's, that's an important thing. Now, of course, you, as you were saying in the Scrum before, like, you know, you could happily work on uh, website one in the interim and give Francis a t some time to come back to it. I think we, that, that, that's also perfectly reasonable and we might let Francis look at it. We, what we, another option that's also available to us is that we could look into the, the cucumber failure ourselves and, and fix it for Francis. I think some, sometimes I've found over the course of the last few years that, you know, say people just end up not having time to do that or even it's sort of too challenging for them. So, you know, I, th I think we'll have to keep a careful watch on that. And if it, you know, if it goes a few more days, then step in, maybe. I looked at it and it looked like it might be fairly easy to fix. Right, right. And so that's, you know, this, this trade-off. We don't want to, like, if he's just about to get around to it and, we, and, and you've asked, and asked him and he said he's going to look at it, we don't want to stomp on him by kind of going in there and immediately doing it. But I think we also have to have a little bit of an eye on the clock uh, about about how, how long that's going to take. So, um, uh I guess sh should we just in the first instance here put Redeemify to one side? I mean, I, I made a few other comments in the code that you saw. Yeah, I can fix. Yeah, and they're the trivial things like that. So no need to focus on them. Is there anything that um, we should do on website one to help you get? I, I know that you're working through the installation process and so on. Are, are you are you blocked on anything at the moment? No, I I think I'm going to get that working. It's yeah. I just all the instructions about sure Xcode and mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah I, and I guess the, the 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 question that you had there was um, you know what, what what to work on I think the thing to do is um, you know get involved in the voting process and and the key the key thing is of course we have the waffle uh, or not of course but we happen to have the waffle which maybe you may or may not excuse me have looked at yet um, but yeah so there's we've got time, so I'd like to work on it actual issues sure yeah totally well and we've got i mean so the the the, the thing that i'm sort of consolidating into a, like you know how to, what what do you do in, in a project like that you want to you know get involved in and i think that the, the key things are uh, that end up being this like one which you're doing already which is basically you know install to get test passing mm -hmm. you know uh check runs manually, locally, uh, for optional uh, deploy to remote. That's kind of a, that's a good, good, good thing, but not, not I mean, right. I'd, I'd love it if everybody went through that process, but, but uh, uh, probably because it would force us to make the deploy easier, but anyway. Um, and then it's sort of basically review, I, I would say, it's review open PRs. So the open pull requests, I mean, it's a, and I guess you've got, you know, and project board. So the kind of the key thing coming into a new project is, do we have any open pull requests? So if we go and look at uh, one, uh, we've got, you know, three pull requests going on there. So one can argue that, um, you know, e every pull request that stays open is a potential kind of block on the project moving forward. So, of course, people do like to like work on their, their, their own thing. Um, but in terms of sort of seeing what people are actively working on, although we've got one here which has been open for a while, um, kind of looking through and trying to understand, you know, each of these and the tickets that they relate to. Uh, so, you know, the, all of the pull requests should have those, those in. That's a kind of, I think, a great orienting for, for the project. And then one option is to reach out to anybody, any of these people and say, you know, can I help you with that? And then, then you have a leg up because rather than you trying to take off something by you, you by yourself, you can potentially be looking at it with help and uh, advice from another. Yeah, another. I did on the video, uh, 
if the video is present. And yeah. I'm at, that was really good. Yeah, yeah. So, and then, and then having, having done so, I mean, you may look through all of them and, and not be interested or stimulated on all of them, which is, which is perfectly, perfectly good too. Um, you know, if comments, uh, you know, so it's always like, you know, leave comments or collaborate if interested. Everybody loves having their work, you know, looked at and reviewed. And then, so if not, we come back to the board and then it's kind of, the, uh, what I follow strongly is, you know, we kind of start with the ready column. So particularly if this is website one, then, you know, look through, so we look through ready uh, and that, you know, and seven is like move to estimated um, and then eight uh, backlog. And then ah, it's kind of like, you know, uh, if there is an interesting ticket, get it voted on. So did, did, um, did you have a look through some of these tickets before or you haven't had a chance yet? Yeah, I, I think I need to follow your your steps there and yeah. look at the PRs first maybe and then. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yes. Um, yeah, and, and at, at a later date, I'm, I'm all the um, uh, very happy to sort of discuss you know individual tickets in the tickets or in the slack or in you know uh you know post scrum what have you and then the, i mean the, the key final element is that if you find like oh 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 who's here's this exciting oh i just really want to watch on this i want to work on whatever it is and it's right. not estimated then you know you can start or you can even just prompt me to start because i've got a bot that sort of partially automates it now uh to, to, to get that to get that voted to get it estimated into the estimated column and then I guess the, the, the subtle thing here is just that anything that's an estimated, comment, it, estimated column, it hasn't been particularly reviewed for priority. So um, although anybody can start working on anything that they fancy, you know, there's, there's certainly no harm in saying, oh, you know, there's these three different things in the estimated column that I'm interested in, you know, which would you say is highest priority? And, I, and we're always available to kind of, you know, yes. give, give, um, uh, yeah, give feedback on that. Cool. Okay. So uh, I might... That's great. Maybe you can post those. Yeah, I'll uh, post that and uh, let's uh, like uh, bum, 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 that's in the website one column. And I need to kind of exactly what I want to. I'm going to follow those. So, so uh, and I were just chatting about the steps to get involved. In and here they are. Uh, and that, of course, relies upon people knowing that the waffle board uh, is there. Uh, and this is waffle uh, project board. Yes, and what I could do then quickly before I forget is I could go to website one and I could quickly. I have this conflict about whether I should do these things as pull requests or if I should just like when I do contributing uh, is I just I almost feel with something like this, it's just like this is our process. Yeah, it's very useful. I just want to pop that in there. And I could be doing it as a PR for like, but there's almost like, uh, like, like, uh, to get involved, please follow these steps. There we go, and it says install on, on your dev environment uh, look, laptop or C9. Uh, get test passing, check runs uh, site can be run manually. Uh, optional, deploy to remote, e.g., uh, Heroku 3, etc. Uh, review open PRs and project boards. So in there, I'm going to just grab that link and stick that in there. And project board, which is of course this. Uh, uh, look through that's now just the ready column. Uh, so this is like. Um, 
feel free to start work, but uh, always interested to hear uh, chat in uh, Slack, Scrum, whatever. Um, uh, maybe look through Medicom. Uh, feel free to ask about priority. These are not prioritized. And then look at backlog if you need to get, uh, get it voted on. Um, you know, uh, join a scrum or do async vote. And then we've got uh, the description of Agile Ventures, Agile Ventures about those. So, yeah, I mean, so you, if you want to go off and do those other things, I would probably right now just continue investigating this bug that I've just encountered, um, which uh, you're, if you're interested in, I'd be very happy to, happy to, like you can see my process of trying to hunt down the problem, um, but very, very happy for you to, you know, go off and do other things if you want to do other things. Would you like to leave the hang open and hang out open and see how I kind of attack this bug? Yeah, if you've got, if that's okay with you. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love, I, I make my whole life televised. Uh, and indeed, most of it is now. Um, so, right, but this bug, interesting. So we've got this pinging of the Slack thing, which just totally failed. And we've got this sort of microservices architecture where we've got our bot, which sits on, it's on Heroku. It's apparently live at the moment. Um, so the like the, the live system should be hitting the production server, and I can see there it is hitting it there. Um, and oh no, I want that one I want there to have a trailing log. Hmm. And for some for some reason, it's it's failing, and so I immediately hypothesize. I'm assuming that the app itself is up, and it appears to be up. Like sometimes, if I came here, it might come and say. Oh, sorry. You know, you've run out of Dino hours, or or what have you, and it's not working. But I, I've kind of I've upgraded um, the Agile bot to sit in my uh, like company space, where uh, let's see, all the apps. Yeah, Agile bot is here. It's on a Cedar fourteen stack. It's Node.js, uh, and I'm paying seven dollars a month for keeping a Dino live. So. Uh, I mean, I could restart the dinos on it. I, I've got nothing to indicate that it is behaving poorly at the moment. Uh, and I can even see here. 1136. Say again? That's the time where you are, 1136. Uh, it's now 1202. Okay, uh, so it, is, it is running. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, here, I mean, this... And what, I, what I'm immediately looking back to here is I can kind of see, I mean, we're kind of overwhelmed by these ridiculous Redis log things. But I think here, this, this 1142, 1143, this is the point at which I started the Hangout that we are now in. And mm -hmm. so, like, it came through here, and the bots, you know, it, it hit it with this post thing. I mean, conceivably, there are problems in the post payload. Um, it's always annoying to me that, that partly because, I mean, it's, it's sensibly a post but I haven't got a good mechanism for this. I guess I do get roll bar. I think it's even configured correctly. Uh, we've got roll bar on this, and it's supposed to detect the errors. I don't know these, these things. What have we got here? Um, top 10 items in the last 24 hours. Token revoked. OK, so that, that, that seems to be, well, where is actually the message about token revoked? That would make it seem like the token for the Agile bot um, that I've got here is, no, I did reset some of these over the weekend. I'm just doing this in a different screen here. Um, and I thought, okay, so maybe I updated, I updated it on the website and I didn't update it. So I think I updated it maybe for the Slack invitations and I didn't update it and I've kind of, in the process, I've broken the Slack API token for the, um, yeah, I think that's probably it. So I don't want to reveal those tokens. So I'm just doing yeah, no, that's a fine. different window here. Now, if I want to do that Slack API tokens, um, I can probably find them here. And it's all my authorizations. 
uh, going to configure this. Now I end up going to the rot like I mean this hasn't actually got the thing. I I do a search here for Slack API tokens, and ah, the screen come back. Um, I think it's right, and it's not this one. It's actually this one. Yeah, that's that's right. Uh, if, we, if I click on that, it will reveal all the tokens. So yeah. uh, here on a different screen. Yes, here we go. And I've got. Okay, so that was annoying. Uh, let's see. Should it be that one? Yeah, they, and they've increased the length of the tokens actually to make them more secure. So I should then restart the Slack bot. Um, I think actually it might automatically restart, but we'll do. We're in the app. I would say restart. You update the token, but you didn't restart. Is that? I, well, I think what that is is that there's a there's a single Slack token that's shared between the Agile Ventures site itself and uh, the um, uh, what's it called uh, and the bot. Uh, so the Agile Ventures site has uh, a to has a token that it uses to send these Slack invitations when people sign up into the site and then uh, you know invitations get sent out. Whereas the um, the agile bot and it uses the same token and it's still these kind of temporary tokens which I think we shouldn't we're not really supposed to be using but it's also not immediately clear to me like you know like it also says like okay temporary tokens for testing and then you have to like declare like a Slack application and it doesn't I'm not yeah I don't know it's um, yeah maybe I think we have to go through some like vetting oh. or or something I did do I did do that once and then I wasn't clear where it got to and. Anyway, um, but so basically, I think what it is is, uh, I mean, I reset the token because it felt like the Slack invitations were failing. Uh, I were getting a lot of people saying, "Oh, I don't seem to receive the email." Although maybe that was just like you know being in their spam filters. Uh, but so I think hopefully what I've just successfully done is, um, I guess what I, what I failed to do was realize that. Then this is the problem probably with the microservices architecture that makes it more complicated. Is we've got effectively two separate apps on Heroku. One that's our main Agile Ventures website, and the other one that's this Agile bot that manages the pinging of the stuff to Slack. And um, I mean, the Agile bot one is in is a Node stack, and it's in Hubot, and it has it's very very slim compared to the bigger Rails monolith that we have um, in in uh, website one. Um, but so having updated the token in in one place, it's like they're sharing the same token, so they they need to. Uh, and it's kind of like it's it's the token that allows the but both of them to do things or do work related to our main Slack instance. So in principle, now if I've done that correctly, uh, I should be able to um, uh, open another Hangout and and see it ping correctly. So uh, I guess I can probably just do that in Firefox and, and do it in the context of this Hangout in order to make the recording uh, sensible to uh, the aliens who will be watching them thousands of years from now. Uh, let's go to projects. You can open, or you can open mine. Well, you can't open mine for a Redeemify. Uh, um, well, I can, I can do, um, you know, it, it's not so much the, the, the particular project thing. I, I just need to. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can open another website one, or I can open a Redeemify one. I just need to go to somewhere and do this and say, like, this is going to be a test instance. Um, and just check that it works on uh, production here. <laughs> and this is a uh, test of Hangout. Hangout test. Well, then, of course, with, with staging, which we have pointed to a different instance, it ends up being so here. Uh, yep. And then there. So I think, as I said, and as my wife has a constant refrain, we have established that the Slack not working was my fault. Um, arguably, <laughs> although, although you know, basically, who has responsibility for everything? We're all in the universe; it's all interconnected. Any event prior in time to any event at any future time could be conceived to be, you know, imputing some level of responsibility. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that is fixed. Yeah, that was a test thing. I just I would just delete that because otherwise, that's like a dummy. One time, let's get rid of that, and it goes to general, uh, and we delete that. And uh, we're going to the standard notifications as well. Parent notifications. Uh -huh. And delete that. Side note, but uh, for Redeemify, there's going to be a lot of token issues because it uses like five different ones for each. Mm -hmm. and I don't think they're valid or something. Or they're because uh, when I deployed to the staging on Heroku, mm -hmm. none of the logins worked, even though uh, Armando had given me actual. Yeah. yeah. We'll have lots of lots. There'll be lots of room for yeah, token, token of fun uh, <laughs> on that. Yes, yes. Good to know. Good stuff. All right. Well, there you go. There you saw me 
Oh, that's great. Thanks. Yeah, and, and that's a little bit. Yeah. So uh, I said, well, thanks for, you know, that's really helpful. I think having got these uh, steps together and um, I don't know, you can't see what I mean, but uh, uh, yeah, just come back to me and, um, you know, we'll get to you doing productive things and let's keep an eye on the Redeemify thing and hopefully we can get back to a green build yeah, uh, ASAP. Yeah. Great. Nice one. All right. Thanks, Matt. I'll catch up with you real soon. Yes. Thanks, Sam. Okay. Why is it? Bye for now.